Hello. This is the first of yeah, a few 2D to 3D videos. It's a combination of Nomad Sculpt and Procreate and it's more about yeah, uh, bring a 2D image into a 3D object. And the first video is um, there's how to bend a surface like this shield of a of a knight okay and you need pictures like this shield here and in iOS 16 it is now possible to when I I can choose every picture here um, I want now I okay I use this one I press on it and now in the selection menu here is copy selection here and when I press this and I open procreate and I create a new canvas iOS asks me uh, is pasting allowed yes and now I open a square canvas always square canvas like this square and when I swipe with three three fingers I can bring in now the copied image and the nice thing is it's cropped auto cropping we need a transparent background for this uh, thing in Nomad Sculpt okay and then save it as a PNG and go to Nomad Sculpt. This is an example of such a shield. It's only a picture and a little bit of sculpting. And you can do other stuff like um, this, for example. This is all only a picture uh, image and a little bit of sculpting. And or oh, this one this is a only picture and sculpted a little bit let's create a new scene we don't need the sphere we always start with a plane I turn the perspective off and I rotate the plane in the front view 90 degrees and I validate it. Multi-resolution we need a very high poly count subdivide the mesh up to 1 million or more. Okay then we need the stamp tool the stamp tool is good for this I import a new texture this and you see here no background this is important color settings always use the color white and the first point here painting stamp on in the stroke menu here we don't need uh, alpha the blank one is okay and scaling let it fit inside the red ring flat fall off is okay grab dynamic radius is okay okay I think it's enough and here there's a uh, lock the alpha orientation you can lock here the rotation of your alpha okay the next is we need always layers add layer and now switch the symmetry on that the, the symmetry cross is visible but on the left side turn the symmetry off and here the intensity bring it to zero then the stamp tool only paints the picture
And now you got your, your picture here on a layer. On the layer, there are the small three dots here. You can here mask the whole thing. And in the mask settings, you can invert this. You can also use a finger shortcut for this. And with a gizmo, you can bring this guy a little bit out. Like this. The mask we can clear now at the moment. And here it's possible now to adjust the offset in the layer settings. And uh, here's the color. And now bring everything down and add a new layer. This first layer is our color layer. The second here is bending. And bring it here under the color layer. Now we have to bring our thing in the top view. And we are on the bending layer, it's okay. And we need the project tool. We can draw here a path, only a, a straight line. And here you can adjust your bending. And you can use the spline function to create a nice bending. And uh, check the orientation here, the small uh, arrow here, you can flip it. Um, that the orientation is in this direction. And now turn on the left side symmetry on to create a symmetrical bending. And now you can press the green dot. Now everything is gone. No, it's only out of view. Um, here, it, here is it. This is the bending here of the plane. And now, when you go to the color layer and bring it back, the bending is on the yes, layer of the color also. Mm. Only by the side here, I bring it back. And this layer, I bring also back. I add a new layer, bring it completely down and rename it Bending 2. And here I go in the side view and when you create another bending here like this and check the orientation of the small arrow and press the green dot. Here you have a other curve or other bending and it's possible when you bring back the first bending, you can combine those two bending effects and when you bring back the color, you see here everything is curved in, in both ways. And now on the color layer, there's the three dots and there's possible to extract the layer with a shell. Press extract. And now you get this and you are happy. And yes, this is a, a like a chip. Um, in German, it's yes, chips. Mm. Okay. 
here is it now the layers are all gone and um, I think we can delete the plane here and here is it, it is possible to start again with um, yes some adjustments when I turn on the wireframe here you see that the, the edge is uh, not not very nice and one important thing is you have to check your mask mask and clear it that it's definitely no mask on it and in other videos I showed you the the round all brush it's a smooth tool with grab dynamic radius and a few adjustments and this round all brush makes it possible when you press on the left side the relax button and I turn on the wireframe that you can here relax your mesh you see you get more topology at this areas and when you here zoom in and use it on the whole object and swipe a few times you can use a, a higher in, um, intensity and swipe swipe and then check your mesh now your topology is okay at the edges and switch relax off and use it as a round all brush and now everything gets smoother I turn the wireframe here out and you see here now the edges become very smooth you can do it also per uh, hand with a smooth tool and smooth it a little bit and now you can sculpt on this uh, you can use yes you can do it uh, in the layers before we um, yes leave the layers but it's also possible to, to do it here um, you can use the inflate tool or the, the layer tool like you want here you can bring out the, the cross a little bit and you can use the, yeah, the brushes here and brush along and create your shape but one important thing is don't do a voxel remesh you you can do it but then the uv map is gone uh, here you get a nice uv map at the moment and you can decimate your object later but when you voxel remesh it's gone and we have a poly count near a million and yes the UV unwrapping is not so optimal for this. Okay, I hope you get it and have fun with sculpting. Ciao.